I'm a uh, patch. Um, may not be looking at my best today. Uh, today we're going to be doing um, a thing to discharge a monitor. That's an arcade jammer monitor and basically lots of people think they're going to die when they discharge their monitor. But uh, yeah, um, okay. We'll show you how not to die. Okay, what we need, um, first off, a long gish screwdriver with a flat tip, because obviously you need to get that under the cap of your Gemma monitor. Um, a longer stick, it's not that long, but what you want is something what's unconductive, just in case you were worried about getting zapped. I'm going to use a piece <coughs> of round wood with a nail in it to pop into the end over the screwdriver. I've cut this when I was cutting the holes for my arcade joystick. Um, you need two clips, and uh, these two clips laying around. They're rusty and stuff, so you don't have to spend a fortune on them. They're a bit big, but they work. Um, a cable tie, just for security, and a load of tape, which we haven't got out yet, but we'll show you. Um, most importantly, you need about a foot and a half to two foot of wire. Um, the wire is off an old lamp, so again, you don't actually need to spend much money on this. Right, I've used for pliers to strip the wires. Um, let's say, you wind them together. After you've wound them together, you'll have this one little cable sticking out. That's the two wires from both blue and, in my case, brown cable in, wired together. Uh, this is really easy. Get on with it. It's only meant to be five minutes. Okay, next you get your wood. You get your screwdriver end. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this right onto the tip of the wood there. What you need to do is also get a piece of cable tie or something so it can secure onto it a bit and you'd put that round the edge there. Make sure that's flat up to the thing there. A bit wood. And then I'm going to use this so it makes a block. Right um, now what we've got, we've got a screwdriver attached to a piece of wood with the cable tie. I've got my little block on the end. Right and next what you do is push this screwdriver through the little hole, I secured it with a nail so it don't move around. Um, you've got you clamp on this, just stops it from moving around because you're going to need a little bit of pressure to get the end underneath the cap. Right, now it's twisted round. We're going to tape it on for security. Yep, tape doesn't sound too good, but we're going to put it nearer to the tip. Ooh, it's done! Ooh, nice job. Right then, next thing you do is secure the handle of the screwdriver onto the wood so it doesn't move about. And you don't have to do it this like this, you can just stick the screwdriver on a piece of wood if you want, or even just use a screwdriver with the clip attached. But I, like many others, are worried about getting electrocuted. Um, remember you're dealing with 20,000 volts. Uh, you don't want to get shocked, so me and my partner here put a little disclaimer on the end of this saying we're not responsible for anything bad happening. He's going to use it tomorrow and um, he'll show you what happens. And remember, you use this. At your own risk. <laughs> 